Hi everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Creative Hands Crochet. Um, I wanted to say hi to all the new subscribers, which is really awesome. And thanks for being here. I hope you like what you, what you see. We have a lot of fun here on my channel. And, uh, of course, thanks to all my, uh, my folks. <laughs> okay, I got a couple things to show you today. Still haven't got my yarn art or my Stanley. Still waiting with bated breath. So that's coming soon. Also, too, I am becoming an affiliate for uh, Pleta.org, which sells Stenley. And I'll have more info for that a little later. And if you use my code, it's one of those deals where you get like 5% off or something like that for using my code. But I'll let you guys know that uh, as soon as I, me and the guy are still talking. So I'll let you know as soon as that's handled. But I did get my furls. All the furls I, I got for y'all. Um, these are ones I already have. and I, So they had a buy two, get three free of the solar flare. I told you guys about this. Anyways, I got 10 of them for the price of four. So this is what a solar flare looks like. And it's got the size on it. And it's all done in oranges and yellows. Every single one of them is different. Isn't it beautiful? And uh, Granny D and Ola Joe, the crocheting uh, sailor, uh, have affiliate links for furls. So you can get uh, a percentage off, you know, if and you wanted to buy some. But anyways, I, this is what I got. And I got a whole, I got 10 of them, like I said. I got them mostly in fives and sixes. I got a five and a half. What is this one? A six, six. Um, I got a lot of sixes because that seems to be everybody's favorite. Um, six, five, five, six. Yeah, I think I got like four five of them in, in the number six and three and five and two and five and a half so that's what I got to, to put in my giveaways so you never know this may be coming soon okay the next thing I got I'm so excited you guys she came she came my witch bowl came and here she is isn't she awesome now, the yarn can come through her nose, and here's the hole for it. And then she also has the loop in the back for the yarn. Now, this is incredible. I mean, think about this. This is done on a potter's wheel. This lady makes them. I'm going to put all of her information below. She hand makes these. Uh, the faces and the eyes, all, all this part, you know, she puts on the bowl after she's created the bowl. Mark put some uh, felt on the bottom for me, and uh, I asked him to do that. But they're all signed. I mean, this is incredible. They all come with a little birth certificate. Now, my last one was named Biddy, and I thought she'd just name this one Biddy, but she didn't. This one's name is Ethel. She was born on October 29th, 2022. How cool is that? And this is the announced the birth of Ethel, born October 29th, 2022, in Hubble, New England. Created and delivered by Something Lucky 13, the art of Lucky Stradler, IRC at gpcom.net. Here's all the information, but her uh, Etsy store is called Something Lucky 13. Uh, the lady's name is Lucky Stradler. She was more than helpful. I don't know if you guys remember, um, she sent me one, and you know how the post office is. They just throw boxes and all that. I mean, it was completely covered with, with peanuts. I mean, it wasn't her fault at all. It was covered with peanuts. Every bit of it was wrapped in bubble wrap. I mean, ex excellent shipping. But somehow, and the box didn't look beat up or nothing. But somehow, this part right here busted off in transit. Post office, as usual. 
So anyways, I am very, very happy. I'll save her business card. I'll hold up in a second. I am very, very happy with the customer service because when I got my first bowl, um, it was broken. She told me it would take her a couple weeks to make, which I was fine with. I mean, you know, art takes time, right? And she got it right out to me and kept me informed the whole way through. She's ready to go into the kiln. She's, you know, curing or whatever. You know, she kept me uh, right up to date. Uh, she shipped. She should be delivered at such and such time. I mean, it was awesome. The customer service was awesome from Lucky Stradler. I really appreciated her. Now, these bowls are not cheap. Okay? They're not cheap. I paid $153 for this, okay? But she has, this, you gotta remember, this is art. They're one of a kinds. This is done by an artist, by a pottery artist, okay? This lady is 10 times better than anything else I've seen on Etsy. And believe me, I was looking. You know, when I first seen hers, I seen the press, I was like, Ugh. So I looked around everywhere, Etsy, all over the place, no. Nobody even came close to her. This woman is precise in what she does. Look at the lip shine. How the teeth look. I mean, the eyes. The detail. The wrinkles under the eyes. The wrinkles in the forehead above the nose. Now, you guys know me. I'm a very crafty person. And I have messed with polymer clays and... Um, I even tried to make myself a bowl and it cracked. So, you know, so this lady is an artist and well worth every penny I spent for it. Now, mind you, I've been watching her channel for a long time. You know, on Etsy there, I've been looking at her stuff for a long time. And, you know, it's like, ooh, that's so much money. Ooh, that's so much money. But I finally broke down and did it. I did this as a gift to myself. This is something I've wanted for a long time, and I'm so happy, so happy with the results. So happy, in fact, that I asked her to make me a cup to hold my crochet hooks um, that is a black cat with a goofy face to be her, like, familiar, you know what I mean? I have a witch and a black cat. I absolutely love this. Now, if you are into alternative art, you're going to love the selection she has. All these goofy faces and crazy eyeballs and just, oh my God, it is so wonderful. You guys got to go check it out. And, you know, for Christmas or something, you might want to treat yourself or you might want to treat somebody you know. And I'm not affiliated with her at all. I'm just a delighted customer, okay? And I am going, I put in an order for my black cat. And uh, for the, you know, holder for my uh, crochet hooks. And I can't wait to see what she comes up with. And sh she does, like, the things that are on her site are things that she has already made. Um, you know, you can ask her for custom makes, like I did the black cat. Um, and, you know, she's very accommodating. But that that inventory changes all the time. And something else that she made me aware of is that her Facebook group, if you go there, she posts what she makes there first. And if it doesn't sell on Facebook, then it goes into her Etsy shop. Okay? Just a little tip if you're going to go take a look. But she has the Facebook group, the Etsy shop, and you can buy from either. Okay? So this is what did I do with the card. Oh my goodness, I just had it in my hand. Oh, there it is. How could I lose this card, right? It says, Something Lucky 13, The Art of Lucky Stradler. And look at the card. Is it cool or what? Okay, now the back says, Here are a few places you can find my work online. And she gives the, um, the website for Etsy. She gives her Facebook account. And look for Lucky Stradler or Something Lucky. Her address... The phone number, the whole shebang is right here. If you wanted to save a, a snapshot. I hope that's coming in clear. I'll put all the information in the description box as well. I got my finger right over something. There we go. And I will put all the information in, uh, in the description box below. But I am absolutely delighted. And 
I mean, within two to three weeks. You got to figure, you know, she's got a lot of orders. She's a busy lady. Um, she's, you know, quite known, okay? So this is art. This is not just you're buying a yarn bowl. You're buying art. And that's the way you should look at it. That's the way I'm looking at it. And I adore this. And like I said, I'm not affiliated. I'm not getting paid or percentage off. None of that. I'm just a delighted customer. And one more time, I'll show you a good look at her. Isn't she fantastic? And then around here is where your curl is. And then there's the hole inside. So if you wanted to, you could put a string coming out of her nose. I, I love it. It's so weird. It's so weird and I love it. So I can't wait to see what her mind comes up with for my black cat uh, to go with my uh, Ethel. I started to call her Biddy. Uh, Ethel. I'm just thrilled, you guys. I'm thrilled. And like I said, this is one of those treat yourself things. And I've been looking at him for so long and compared her work with so many other artists. And they they may be cheaper, but they don't come close. Don't even come close. Hers is hand down, hands down the best. So anyways, okay, I'm done with my commercial. I'm just so thrilled. I'm so tickled at what, uh, what she looks like. I'm just thrilled to death. Okay. All right, enough of that. I'm just excited. <laughs> okay. I had to get a little drink there. Uh, my crochet magazine came in. Now, I get Crochet World, Simply Crochet, Crochet, and Annie's something or another. Okay. And I just got done ordering a couple of those. I canceled my Knit Crate. And so I had a little extra money a month to play with. So um, I ordered a few magazines that I thought I would like. And actually, that's going to, you know, 40 bucks a month, you know. So, anyways, uh, this is Cozy Chick Crochet. 35 plus easy to style designs. This is Late Autumn 22 Edition. Control projects for you and your home. I love, love, love this sweater. I'll show you a better picture of it inside the magazine. But that is a definite possibility. And I love these goofy hats. Look here. I'm definitely going to make Mark one of these. You see him with the flaps like Elmer Fudd? I love it. Okay. Uh, let me get to the page where it shows you everything. Everything, everything. Okay, that isn't it. Because that's when we got like five or six of them. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you better pictures of some of the items, but I'll start with this side. Now, this has the Elmer Fudd hat. I'm going to get up here so I can show you. Here's the Elmer Fudd hat right here that I think is super cool. This is really neat. This is a boho corner sling like you use for your bananas or whatever to put your yarn in or like kids use for toys. This is for yarn. How cool is that? Um, there's a, right here's a poncho of some sort. Very cool. Look at the sleeves on that sweater. Can you see? I'll show you better pictures and sides. Look at the texture in this sweater. How cool, right? Look at this hat. This reminds me of something Bag Day made. And then also this here, the sweater here. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to flip the book around and show you what else is in here. And then I'm going to show you some better pictures. Okay, this is the sweater I'm talking about. I am so making that sweater. That might be what I do with my electric blue that Abigail and Mip sent me. And, you know, cup cozies. That one's kind of cool. It's got a thing that goes around the outside. Um... There's the amigurumi, some crochet socks. This is a really pretty doily, or I would actually do that in a rug. And these are cool slippers. Look at the fur around them. Aren't those cool? There's some really good stuff in this one. I like this magazine. You know, sometimes they're hit or miss. You know, you like a couple patterns, but you're like, eh. You know, this one, I like a lot. 
Okay, here's one. It's called Comfortable in Gray. Very nice. Look at the stitch definition. Very nice. Kind of a long, oversized sweater. Love it. Okay. And here's the poncho. So, you know, this is kind of similar to what, uh, you know, Bag of Day did with the sleeves like that. But Bag of Days is way prettier. And I'm going to do that too. <laughs> okay, here's a lattice sweater. Ooh. Kind of those stripes, the black stripes going uh, vertical. Kind of look like overlay to me. I'm not really sure. I think they are. I think that's an overlay. Okay, this is the sling I was talking about. How cool is this? Can you see that? Boho Corner Hammock. It's so pretty. I Man, my yarn room does not have room for that. <laughs> but I still want to make it. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, here is an awesome sweater. Wait till you see. This is the one I said, look at the sleeves, look at the sleeves. Look at that. That is a sweater. And the sleeves are great big V's. You know, you know, real long. Kind of reminds me of the Tammy sweater uh, by the, uh, the Secret Yarnery Crystal. Um, but on the same token, hers was buttoned up down the front. Oh, this, this is a pullover sweater. Love them sleeves. Okay, there's a couple things in here I want to show you. Here's a here's that one where we, they showed the back of it. That's a really nice oversized sweater as well. They're calling it the Sunday Cardi. Love that. This magazine's packed full of good stuff this time. Like I said, it's hit or miss sometimes. You just never know. Their shawls and the cool hats and, uh, you know, uh, bags and, and cowls and mittens and all that stuff in here. But I want to show, I want to show you the stuff that caught my eye. Okay, here's a big picture of that. I just love the collar on this. It's absolutely beautiful. Ah, uh, and pockets. And it's long. It's like everything I love, all wrapped into one sweater. If, but it's for winter. But if it was for like a summer or whatever, I would want it lacier. But that one's for winter. And they're calling that a coat, actually. So, I want to show you the other sweater that I was talking about. They got kitty cat beds and slippers and amigurumi and uh, pot holders to go around your plants. And Afghans and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I want to show you. Where is the... No, doggone it. Hold on. Let's see if I can find what page, page it's on. I'm sorry about this, guys. Hold on. I will find it. It's all done in yellow. Did I pass it by or something? Oh, this is terrible. Alright, I'm going to go to the front and find those pictures of everything that's in this magazine again. All right, I can't find it. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. It was the one I said, the texture. You know, the texture on it was really awesome. And uh, something happened and my, uh, my camera stopped. I think I hit the button. So I'm going to try to splice this together. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't, this is uh, part two of two. So sorry about that. Okay, that's my crochet magazine. Okay, now I want to show you my finished Lost Souls. Now, I did put pictures of it on my community tab and in my Facebook group. But this is one of those things where 
it is about probably 12 foot long <laughs> across. Now I used, oh, of course I got to hook down the knobs. Um, I used the um, twister yarn, the hobby twister yarn that Abigail had sent me a while back. And this is it finished. It goes from pink to pinky purple to purple to pinky and orange to orange and black and then solid black and orange and black. I am so proud of this, you guys. This was a battle because I had tried to do that one three times, okay? Three times, and I frogged it, frogged it, frogged it. This is not something I told you. I told you I tried once. Well, I frogged the last one right before this. And I watched Fiber Spider, and it just clicked. It took me a little while to not have to watch the video over and over and over again. But once it clicked, it clicked, and I was able to just carry on and do my thing. And the only other time I had to go back to the video was the very end, the trim. Because he shows you a way that you take these and put this one down the middle. As if you can see, see in the rest of it, it isn't like that. But right at the edge, it has this set of shells in the middle. And then there's a chain that goes along the edge to finish it. Other than that, about halfway through, I didn't have to look at the video anymore. So thank you, Fiber Spider. I appreciate it. Uh, I just I just love Craig. He's such a great teacher. He's so patient. And he does... Uh, you know, everyday stuff, but he also does very compli you know, complicated looking, I should say. Fancy, lacy things and, you know, just just beautiful. I mean, he does a lot of shawls and, you know, shawls have usually have a lot of different stitches and lacy and just all that kind of stuff. And uh, I really I really enjoy following him because he's a wonderful teacher, as I love Bag of Day. I mean, who doesn't, right? We all love Bag of Day. Crystal's a fantastic teacher, and uh, have you guys seen her get her giveaway from Little Knits? If you haven't, you need to go over there. There's a suitcase that the printing on the suitcase looks like a knitted sweater, striped. So cool. And the suitcase was filled with yarn from Little Knits, so you know it's good yarn, okay? So you might want to go over there and check it out. Just some, I'm just mentioning it because I was like, wow, I, I'm definitely entering this. Okay. Now this is what I've been trying for the last two videos to remember. Okay, this is from Queen Mama's Hillbilly House with Anita. That was the name. Remember I told you it was a long name and I couldn't remember it all. Well, that's it. Queen Mama's Hillbilly House with Anita. Okay? And she picked me, which, how awesome, uh, to make the next few rounds of the Many Colors of Love Blanket. That's what she's calling it. I knew it had something to do with love and colors, but I couldn't remember what it was. It's Many Colors of Love Blanket. Okay? And she sent it to me in this here. Let me show you all what's in here. Okay. Okay, first, she's so incredible. I just love her. Okay. So her card says, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. How sweet is that? Look how pretty. It's all glittery and sparkly. For all that you do, for just being you, thanks for being my friend, is what the card says. How sweet, right? Thank you for participating in this special project, Anita. D, I'm passing along my notes on my part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, you know, you can do fancy stuff. You can do whatever you want, whatever colors. The more colorful, the better. And she said, I'm passing along my notes on my part. Please keep notes on what you add and pass them along with the project. Please write something in the card for the recipient. I love you. I hope you enjoy adding your love to this special blanket, Anita. 
How sweet is that, right? And then she put all the notes from what she had done. And this is on the front. Many colors of love blanket. Now, once I've done my part of the blanket, then what I do is add my notes to it. And in this card, it says, I hope this blanket brings you lots of love and warmth. Much love for you from Kentucky. Okay? And so then I put much love, you know, kind of deal from Michigan. And the person I pass it on does the same. And we do that until the blanket is finished. And then once it's all finished, it will go for for deserving, you know, recipients. Uh, I guess Anita will be figuring that out. Or I'm not sure how that part of it works. But I am just absolutely delighted to take part in this. Let me show you what she made. Okay, this is what she sent to me. Her square. And see the heart. And she put KY for Kentucky on her portion of it. So on my portion, I'll put MI for Michigan. And so on and so on. How cool of an idea, right? I was like all on board. I'm like, this is super cool, Anita. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I better fold it up one more time. So, anyways, what I do is I add whatever I want to add to it. And we're using four-weight yarn. And we can do whatever we want. We just have to keep notes on what stitches we use, blah, 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 for the next person. So, you know, once a blanket is made, we'll have all the instructions on how to make it. And I thought that was a really cool idea from Anita. I just love her. She's as sweet as she can be. And uh, I'm glad to be the second one to get it. How cool is this? And then what I do is I do my part and I pick someone and mail it off to them. They do their part, etc. And it keeps going. I just think it's awesome. I'm so happy to, to be able to uh, take part in it. Okay, let me see. Is there anything else I wanted to share with you all? Don't forget tomorrow's live, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So whatever that is in your area. Um, I'm getting some real good feedback on the charity thing for the veterans. Um, it's kind of looking like, you know, people that don't have it in their area um, can just go ahead and ship it to me. My address is always below my P.O. box, and um, if you're making something for the veterans like we discussed, um, you can send it to me gladly, and I will take it to the VA hospital. We have a VA hospital and a, a, vet a vet disabled veteran place right close. I did not realize, within a half an hour. And uh, so I already know where I'm going to take it. So if you want to and you, you, know, you don't know in your area, if you want to just ship it to me, I will gladly take it along with my stuff. And, uh, you know, this is an ongoing thing. I don't think we're going to do anything with it until, you know, after Christmas, you know, whatever. So I don't think we're going to be, you know, uh, so you got plenty of time is basically what I'm saying, you know, because I know myself, I'm busy with making Christmas stuff and I'm going to do that blanket and I got a bunch of other things in the works and, uh, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. I mean, it's what, November the 4th, I think, today. So we don't have a whole lot of time left for Christmas. So for those of us who make Christmas presents, this is a very busy time. So, you know, if you can only make something small, like a walker bag or, you know, a seat cushion or, uh, you know, something like that, that's fine. You don't have time to make a lap can? No problem. Uh you know, I mean, use your imagination. It doesn't have to just be those things. Someone had mentioned to me, um, you know, like the, the pocket thing that I'm talking about that goes on the walker. So I have several pockets, you know, for remotes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Their phone, their house phone or whatever. Their remotes and things like that that they don't want to lose or may fall off of their cart or, or whatever. Their uh, walker. And also those can be used on the side on the arm of a wheelchair as well. If it's done, you know, within the parameter of the wheel. So, um, someone had also mentioned to me, I believe in an email, hot water bottle covers. That's always nice. 
um, a heating pad cover, uh, you know, just socks, slippers, uh, you know, anything like that. You know, anything you feel, whatever your niche is, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you enjoy making. Uh, there's, you know, lady vets too. You know, you could make a shawl. You could make a sweater for a gentleman. You could make, you know, slippers for either. You could make all those things for either. And uh, I just think it's a really cool idea. So I'm just giving you a heads up. You can start working on them anytime you want. Uh, we're not going to really do any, um, like I'm not going to take anything to them until right after Christmas. Okay. And I mean, we can even put a deadline of it as of February. But for me, I would like to gift it as a, as a Christmas present. But we'll see what kind of time I got. I mean, you know, God knows I got a lot of crocheting to do between now and then. I did get a good head start this year, though. Um, so that's it about the charity. Um, my members only live is November 8th. So if you're, uh, you know, a member, uh, you'd like to participate, 6 p.m. Uh, yep, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I always do 6 o'clock, uh, you know, in the different time things at 7 or 8 o'clock, you know, whatever. And uh, people are usually finished with dinner or whatever by that time, I guess. Uh, me and Mark don't eat until too late because we're up so late and don't get up till late. So we're late all the way around. But anyways, um, I guess that's it for me right now. Anybody that was expecting a package from me, they have all been mailed a couple days ago. So you should start getting uh, getting your stuff, your boxes and your bags. Um, and I got all kinds of yarn and, and doodads picked out for uh, this month's uh, Super Chat giveaway. And... I, you know, I got a bunch of those bobbins. I'm like kind of waiting on this yarn art and this Stanley because I'd like to include some of that in there. Because this month is acrylic, cotton, you know, those kind of things. No animal fibers for those of you that are allergic. So this month is uh, acrylic and, and cotton and whatever else I can come up with, you know, blends or whatever else I can come up with. So I'm really looking forward to this yarn art and this Stanley because... Uh, you know, I placed some pretty good size orders there. Uh, you know, I'm getting low on my, uh, truck load. So, uh, you know, I wanted to, uh, to try some other yarns and, and have that available for y'all. And like I said, I'm going to be an affiliate for, for Plenty Yarns. And I, you know, I went back and forth about it. You know, it's like, I really don't know if I wanted to be affiliate to anybody, kind of like the crystal mentality. You know, because then you feel like you owe somebody. But in, in my I, I think, you know, I'll do it for a little while and see if it causes an issue, causes a problem. Uh, then, I, you know, I'll get rid of the affiliate links. But uh, I'll let you know when I have that affiliate link and you'll get a percentage off, um, you know, any orders. I do believe they have, you order $150, you get free shipping. But even if you don't get free shipping, their shipping for some reason is not that high. So that's that's a bonus. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys more about all that stuff later. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my, my FO, which I've been concentrating on to get done. I wanted to get it done for Halloween, but it just wasn't happening. So one more peek at the loveliness. I am so excited I finished it. I actually finished it. Thank you, Craig. I actually got it done. Let me tell you something. I don't know about y'all, but that was one of the hardest things I've ever made. Now, you know, there's probably folks out there that, you know, it was a breeze for them. Not this girl. I had a heck of a time. So, you know, if you're just a beginner, I'd put this one off for a while. If you're seasoned, pay attention because one wrong stitch and it, get, and it goes wonky. So you got to make sure you pay attention until you know what's going on, uh, you know, until you... Till it clicks and you can get a rhythm going but like I said I was probably about this maybe about two foot in before it clicked so that was a lot of doing before it actually clicked in this old brain of mine but anyways I guess that's all for tonight hopefully I didn't have to break this up into two videos um I think I'm gonna throw a little giveaway in here for those of you that stuck with me okay this 
It's such a lovely thing. Sherry Knowles sent this to me, and she wanted me to put it in a giveaway. And I think I would like to do it here. These are the paper beads, these ones here, that are rolled and then uh, coated. And they're made out of the bulletin. Let me read this to you. Wear a prayer, it says. Every Sunday, the Rand Memorial Church in Seabrook, New Hampshire, disputes, distributes a bulletin to its members, including on the bulletin, is a list of people and families in need of prayer. The cone-shaped beads on each prayer bracelet are torn pieces of the bulletin that are hand-rolled and sealed. So that bulletin that they make, asking for prayers for families, is what this is made out of. The bracelet, bracelets serve as a beautiful reminder to pray daily and to bring comfort to yourself and for your loved ones. How cool is that? Look at this bracelet, y'all. And it's in, on a stretchy cord, but it's on a good stretchy cord. You know, not the weak ones. And I love mine. I love mine. I'm not wearing it today because I was cleaning house. That's why I'm so beautiful today. Anyways. Okay, so that's what I'm going to give away. And we're going to make the word prayer. Prayer. That's a good word for this. We'll make the word prayer. Um, you know, put that in your comment, kind of inconspicuous. You know how I roll. And uh, I'll pick a winner in a few days. And if you are the winner of the Annie's 2023 catalog, I still haven't heard from you. So if I don't hear from you, probably by tomorrow, I'm going to have to redraw. So you might want to watch the winner's video and see if you're the winner. Because if I don't hear from you by tomorrow evening, you know, like after my live kind of thing, then I'm going to pick another winner in the next couple days. Okay? All right. So make sure you put prayer in your comments. I would really appreciate it. Um, I have picked the winner for the calendar. And I still need to pick the winner for Tracy's Beaded Necklaces from I Love Loopy Crochet. So you might want to be watching out for that one. Uh, in my video uh, a couple days ago is the keyword that you got to put in there. Describes it, shows the necklace, all that. So if you haven't, you might want to go take a look and enter that giveaway as well. Beautiful, beautiful work. Is there anything else? Nope, I think that's it for now. So hopefully I didn't have to break this into two videos. I know it's kind of a long one, but I had a lot to show you. I had a lot to share today. And I love you guys. And um, I will see you soon. I got to find my little clicker thing. Let me take a drink. And much love. Much love to all my uh, yarny peeps out there. I appreciate you. And if you're not subscribed, give it, give it some thought. You might want to consider it. It's free. And don't forget thumbs up on your way out. It's always important. And uh, don't forget your comment. Enter that giveaway. Everything will be down below. All the um, uh, the links you need. And uh, all the rules for the giveaways. Uh, let me see. I guess that's it. My giveaways are always worldwide. Uh, so anyone can enter. And... The way I word it is, if it's a big, huge box, and it's going to cost me, you know, three times as much to mail it to someone in the United States to mail it to your country, chances are you'll end up with monetary value for, or not monetary value, but a monetary prize for me. Um, so anybody, anywhere can enter my giveaways. And, uh, you know, we'll work all the details out in email uh, when you contact me about your prize. It's as simple as that. This one, I don't think the postage would be much to send out or Tracy's necklace. So those two things I definitely would put in the mail to wherever in the world. It's my great big boxes that I'm concerned about. So anyways, um, I guess that's it for now. And I love you. I'm saying goodbye again. I got to get out of here. I'm a rambler. You know how I work. All right. Much love. See you next time. Bye.
click on me.